It's been a while since we've talked about the benefits of studying, and so today, instead of just talking about it, I'm going to give you some solid visuals to help reinforce exactly what you can expect from a high-quality traction package. We're going to start with two sleds that are real similar, minus two big and important features, track length and engine displacement. The short track XCR 600 Rush is only 120 inches long and it's a 600cc, while the 800 XCR Switchback is a 136 inch and it's got 200 more cc's. It's pretty obvious the long track 800 would be the sled of choice for both acceleration and braking due to the better contact patch with the ground. But what if we increase the grip of the short track Rush? Can it stand toe to toe with a larger Switchback? On its own, not a chance, but when we enlist the help of Woody, I think we're in for a real competition here. And the results? Well, you'll just have to wait a little bit longer. First, I'm going to update the complete traction package on the Rush, ditching the almost non-existent stock carbides and going to a premium 6-inch, 60-degree carbide runner per side. This will help balance out the traction increase in the rear from the 84 studs we'll be placing on the inner portion of the track surface. We'll be going two studs per pitch and using a simple Woody's traction guide to help keep us lined up and make things simple along with a Woody's track pen to mark the places we'll be drilling. Once the track is all marked up, in comes the fun part, grabbing a fresh Woody's drill bit and repeating the process 84 times. Once all the holes are drilled, it's on to installing our Gold Digger Traction Master 1.325 studs, backers, and nuts, and then tightening them all up. This process is pretty easy with the install tools from Woody's, but if you're not too sure about it, just have your dealer do the work. It's not that expensive to have done. Now for the fun part, testing. For my first series of tests, we're gonna run two different drag races to see which one of these sleds leaves the line better. Up first is the fresh snow test. Both the 600 and 800 are lined up and we'll see who gets better acceleration. While the 800 does still leave with authority, the 600 found the bottom, in our case, an ice base on this lake, and was able to get traction even still while the 800 left more of a polished surface. Round two is leaving from a completely ice surface. I can't even count how many times I've been riding and found a polished lake or portions of it where an unstudded sled gets a bit squirrely. Side by side, the 800 is working like a Zamboni to polish the ice to a mirror finish, while the 84 gold diggers are able to cut through the surface and propel the 600 forwards with ease. When the snow is abundant, there's not a whole lot of difference, but if you encounter ice, there's absolutely zero comparison. So now let's move on to braking. Using a similar polished ice surface will come into the ice and attempt to stop from 20 miles per hour to demonstrate the effectiveness of a studded sled. It's not going to take much to prove the point here as the 800 long track slides clean through the stopping surface and even gets a little sideways. The 600 keeps a line, stops with authority, and keeps the confidence level high when the conditions would try to make you feel otherwise if not studded. While on the ice surface, we wanted to also visualize the balanced traction of a high quality carbide and stud package in a worst case scenario when turning would be required. Entering a polished ice surface and attempting to make a smooth turn at low speed even causes our non-equipped sled to get out of control, while the studded 600 cruises right on through without a hesitation. While these situations are not an everyday experience, when you do encounter them, there's nothing like the assurance a snowmobile with a quality carbide and stud package delivers. Now our final Comparo is really more of a balanced traction test where we're gonna run a set of corners with our Woody's equipped XCR and then go through the same set of corners on the non-equipped 800 XCR. What we're trying to achieve here is the feel of holding the corner and it's evident almost immediately with the Woody's equipped XCR rush. Through the corners, it holds its line up front and likewise exits hard but controlled due to the front end grip of the 6 inch carbides and the rear bite of the 84 Gold Digger 1.325 studs. The non equipped sled still handles very well, but it pushes more in the corners, and if there are any grooves to skip over, it loses the positive bite the XCR delivers. While it's harder to visualize, it's very easy to feel from behind the bars. Folks back in the day used to stud their snowmobiles like an 80s teenager who got a bedazzler for their jean jacket. It was way too much and the unbalance and traction caused negative handling effects. But when used properly, you can gain traction in all the situations you need it without sacrificing in those that you don't.